uh, here we are. Sorry, my wig rash is acting up again. Uh, module two, lesson two. Uh, it's gonna be a great lesson because we are working on estimation. Uh, we're rounding numbers and we're just kind of looking for the approximate products of uh, two numbers that are fairly large. We're going to approximate um, an answer just based on estimation and rounding and it should be pretty straightforward and uh, let's go! Here in L2, uh, today is 10, 16, is that right? Yeah, 10, 16, 18. I know you guys have a lot of science homework tonight, so I'm going to do a really quick video here. Uh, and also we're working on estimation. I feel like you guys are pretty um, boss at this skill. So I'm just gonna kind of zip through this really quickly and then tomorrow in class we will work on it a little bit more. So here we are asked to round the factors, factors to estimate the products. Keep in mind product is a fancy name for the answer to any multiplication expression. So here indeed we are multiplying. Let's think about 597. 597 is really close to what super friendly number? Hey, Please come to the 597 Please come is to the really office. close to 600. I say it's friendly because it's a six with two zeros. 52. 52 is really close to 50. That is a super friendly number and here's why. I can multiply six times five and that is 30. And I'm multi multiplying 600 times 50. So that means that my final product is going to have one, two, three zeros because I have one, two, three zeros here, because this is 600. Connect this with what we are working on in class today. And this is five tens. 100 times 10, we have six hundreds times five tens. Let's think about what 100 times 10 looks like. 100 times 10 is equal to 1,000. So, 60 times 50 is 30 thousands. So, here is what we are working on in L1. We don't have to do this work for each problem, but I just want you guys to continue connecting our work in lesson one, really important work with lesson one, to lesson two. Uh, and then we're going to kind of piggyback lesson two onto lesson three and so on. So, a reasonable estimate for 597 uh, times 52 is 30,000. This is so, so important, you guys, because when we start multiplying these big numbers, 597 by 52, when we start multiplying them together, if you are ending up with some insane project products like 198,000, this I'm just making up a goofy big number. If your final product, when you're multiplying 597 by 52, if you come up with 198,761, that is insane because we always need to use our logic and our sense of reason to check in to see if our final product is reasonable. This is not reasonable. We are doing work here so that we can use estimation and our logic to make sure when we're going through the traditional algorithm and multiplying these large numbers, making sure that we know a reasonable estimate um, for our final product. And we'll connect that more as we move forward. But I just want you guys to understand where this is going. Okay, so let's look at B. What is um, 1,103 pretty close to? Well, 1,103 is pretty close to 1,000. And here we're not being told to round to any certain place value. That's why I love it. Um, I feel good about 1,000, so I'm going to round to 1,000. That's me. Rounding is pretty personal when we're not being told to round to the nearest tenth or hundredth. <laughs> Happy those days are over. Anyway, 59 is really close to 60. I'm rounding specifically so that I can multiply these in my head. I can multiply 1 times 6. Boom. But it's not 1 times 6, it's 1,000 times 60. 1,000 times 60 is going to be a 6 with four zeros at the end. Because we have 1,000, 1, 1,000 times 10, essentially. 1,000 times 10 equals 10,000. 
So 1,000 times 60 is equal to 60,000. A reasonable estimate for 1,103 times 59 is going to be 60,000. So again, we're not going to use the traditional algorithm and multiply these numbers together, but just know when you are looking for the final product of these numbers, that needs to be pretty close to 60,000. If it's not pretty close to 60,000, you have gone um, you have gone wrong some, somehow. You've gone down the wrong path, so you need to check yourself. Let's look at this one. C. 5,840 times 25. 5,840 is pretty close to 6,000. 25, mm, we're going to round that to 30. Can you multiply 6 times 3 in your head? Uh, yep. But it's not 6 times 3, it's 6,000 times 30, which is going to be 18 with four zeros, because I have one, two, three, four. 18 with one, two, three, four zeros. A reasonable estimate for 5,840 times 25 is 180,000. Again, when we're using the traditional algorithm to multiply those numbers together, you better bet your biscuits that the number, the final product, needs to be fairly close to 180,000. Okay, kiddos, this one is interesting uh, here in lesson two. Let's look uh, at this problem. The estimated answer to a multiplication problem is 800,000. Wow, it's a pretty big number, uh, fairly close to 1 million. Which of the following expressions could result in this answer? Explain how you know. We can explain how we know using numbers, pictures, or words. I'm going to explain how I know using numbers because we are in math and numbers are the language of mathematics. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to round each of these um, factors within each expression and see if the product is close to 800,000. So 8,146 times 12. 8,146 is pretty close to 8,000 and 12 is pretty close to 10. So I round 8,146 to 8,000 and 12 to 10. 8 times 1 is 8, but that's not 8 times 1, it's 8,000 times 10, so it's going to be an 8 with 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros at the end, because it's 8,000 times 10, or 10 copies of 8,000, 80,000. Are 80,000 and 800,000 close together? No, this is not going to be um, a possible expression that would result in a product of 800,000. So I'm just going to cross it off. I showed my math and I'm just going to cross it out, meaning, nope, that, that's not our, that's not our jam. The first one is not going to work. Let's look at the second one. And Sebastian, I'm thinking about that hilarious joke <laughs> that you told last week uh, that, I don't know who I was talking to, but Sebastian's jam is Blackberry. And I really appreciate that. Um, that will actually be our secret word for today. Uh, Blackberry jam. That is Sebastian's jam, in case you guys are wondering what to get him for his birthday. Okay, so let's look here. You guys can tell that we're using the same digits, um, basically the same digits, except for down here, of course, and the place values are changing each time. So here we have 81,467 times 121. I'm going to round 81,000 to 80,000. Those numbers are fairly close to one another. I'm going around 121 to 100. That's a super friendly number. I can multiply uh, terms by 100 all day, all night in my sleep, standing on my head. I'm really good at that. And I know you guys are too. So let's go ahead and evaluate this expression. 80,000 times 100. Well, I know 8 times 1 is 8. But this is 80,000 times 100. So this is the product is going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros coming up strong from the rear. So 80,000 times 100, oops, my comma, that was not correct comma placement. Let's just see, let's try to get my eraser. My eraser, hello, eraser, I need you. Eraser, I need you. There we go. Tick, 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 tick. There we go. So I have one, two, one, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. 80,000 times 100 is going to be 8 million. Are 8 million and 800,000 close to one another? Nope. Not at all. 
Moving on, 8,146 times 121. I'm going to round 8,146 to 8,000. It's a super friendly number. I'm going to round, just like I did here, 121 to 100. Let's go ahead and evaluate this expression. Eight times one is eight. But that's not eight times one, that's 8,000 times 100. So our product is going to have one, two, three, four, five zeros. Three, four, five. When I put in my comma, I have 800,000. Ooh, hot dog. We have a winner. This expression is logical. This expression results in a product that's fairly close to 800,000. So I'm going to circle that. Let's look at one more. Um, so here we're looking at 81,477 times 1,217. This number is larger than this number. And this number is larger than this number. So I'm going to predict that there's no way that that's going to work, but I need to support that with some numbers. So let's go ahead and round 81,477 to 80,000. And let's round 1,217 to 1,000. And let's evaluate that expression. So we have eight times one is eight. But that's not an 8 times 1, that's an 80,000 times 1,000. So we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we were right, you guys, zeros. An 8 with 7 zeros hanging out at the end is 80 million. Are 80 million and 800,000 close? No way. So the only expression that is close uh, is this third one here, and we supported that with our numbers. Okay, you guys get move on to your science homework. Make sure one of these is uh, one of these problems is completed in your math notebook. Notebook. Goodness sakes! I will see you guys tomorrow.